afternoon and welcome to Broken Mitsubishi. My name's Joel and today we're going to be having a walk around of this 2016 Hyundai Tucson Highlander all-wheel drive 2.0-litre turbo diesel vehicle. It has done approximately 75,000 kilometres and it is in a polar white colour, 6-speed sports automatic with an all-wheel drive drivetrain on this vehicle with approximately 136 kilowatts and a fuel economy of about 6.8 per 100. Today we're going to be having a walk around of the condition of the vehicle inside and also out and we're also going to run through all of the features on the vehicle as well. Just having a look at the front here we do have our parking sensors which are located in our bumper which are also colour matched just to add to the look of the vehicle and it does look very nice. Nice sleek design of uh, the vehicle as well which is a very nice update from Hyundai with what they've done for this vehicle. Continuing around, we'll have a quick look at our rims over here. We have our two-tone alloy rims, which are in your gloss black and dark, uh, it's like a gloss, gloss blacky dark gray kind of thing. Uh, and also a silver look as well, in a 19 inch alloy there. Wing mirrors are color matched to the vehicle itself, and you have a indicator located on the wing mirrors itself. The vehicle's just locked itself because it's been a while since I've actually pressed the unlock button on the key. Just located in my pocket because it has keyless entry and it's a very nice feature to have. On the door handles we have a silver or a chrome finish which is very nice and it's actually unlocked itself whilst I've been walking towards the vehicle as well so you could have um, a reasonable proximity on the key for this vehicle too. Quick peek into the passenger side door here the very door trim is in very good condition and a very spacious amount. Uh, I've just realized that my phone was bumping all the buttons on the keys, so that's why the door was locking and unlocking there. Um, a very good amount of storage in the door vintage here. Leather seats throughout the vehicle as well. Uh, you have your powered seats on the drivers and also the passenger side seats as well, which is a very nice uh, add to the vehicle there. Having a quick peek into the driver's side foot, while we can see it's in very good condition there, which is a very nice thing to have. Continuing through to our back door over here, now just keep in mind that uh, down the very bottom here, this is a little bit of a plastic covering, so there's no damage to the vehicle there at all. It's just something that is added to some vehicles to prevent any damages or anything like that. Uh, or it could also be uh, from when they're also from the factory too. In the back left hand door trim over here, we have a very good amount of storage space in the door bin just there. Um, neat little cubby just here so we can store anything in the very centre just there if you'd like to. And continuing through, we have netting on both the drivers and the passenger side seats, which gives us a good amount of storage there. Mats in the back left-hand side as well, and also the right. Um, small little indentation towards the leather, which is um, probably from a child seat, from personal experience in vehicles. We have isofix points on the drivers uh, on both the left and right-hand side over here as well, which is very nice to have. Back left hand tyre here is in very good condition along with the rim there, no gutter rash or anything to mention. And continuing up to our fuel cap, it is in good condition, paintwork as well. So I've just accidentally opened the boot as I mentioned before with the key, uh, so you can also press and also hold your key, which will also lock and also uh, unlock the boot and also lift it up for you too. So coming down you can see we do have our nice black slimline plates which just add to the look of the vehicle itself. Gorgeous Hyundai badge with the uh, Tucson and Highlander on the left hand side just there. Reverse parking sensors which are colour matched into the bumper as well. And if we press and hold this button yet again, uh, we'll be able to open up this boot, which we have two keys for with the vehicle, which isn't very common on used vehicles because a lot of the time they get misplaced. A very good amount of boot space in this vehicle too. So a very reasonable boot and it also folds up so you can actually get into your spare tyre just there. You can also close the boot if you'd like to with this button just on here, and that will just pull that one down with your electric boot. Continuing around, uh, paintwork still is in very good condition on this vehicle. Nothing that has jumped out at me at all, apart from little scuff marks just there, which you should be able to see in the video. Back right hand tyre over here and rim is in very good condition. Small little gutter rash on that rim just there, which you should be able to see from that bottom corner, so you can keep that in mind. Back right hand door over here is in very good condition as well. Uh, we have a nice door trim as well over here as well too and it's in very good condition this door trim actually there's no real marks or anything like that at all on this one continuing into here we do have a few little scuff marks just in here which may actually come out with uh, the rub of my fingers just there um, but just keep that in mind there seats are in very good condition as well Front driver side door over here is in very good condition as well. There's nothing that jumps out at me over here at all, which is very nice to have. 
no marks or anything like that on the paintwork. It is in very good condition. Now keep in mind, as I mentioned before, these little parts just here are just a clear plastic coat that's been put over the paint. Some vehicles have them and some vehicles don't. I don't personally know what the actual purpose of them are. However, you do see them on a fair few Toyotas, uh, like RAV4s and some of that as well. Front right hand wheel over here is in very good condition as well. There's no gutter rush on this vehicle. Uh, sorry, on that rim there. Jumping into the driver's side door trim now, we have all of our functionalities with our mirror controls and also our window controls. Peeking into the driver's side seat, we have our uh, electric seat adjustments as well. And then in here, we have um, our genuine carpet mat sets, which is in a very good nick. Jumping into the vehicle now, and I'm going to turn this one on because it's a little bit warm today, so we can keep it a little bit cool. Foot on the brake will do, uh, sorry, and then a push button start over on the left hand side over here. As long as you have the keys within the vicinity of the vehicle, that one will start up for you. Turning that volume down really quickly, and let's get this air conditioner pumping. Alrighty, so on the steering wheel, uh, we'll get that out of the way first. We have our phone control settings on our left hand side of our steering wheel, along with our along with our mode settings and everything like that as well. Cruise control settings on the right hand side of the steering wheel too. On the far right hand side over here we have our boot control settings, traction control and potentially a lane keep assist or a lane departure warning. Not 100% certain exactly what that one is so personally I've never used that feature from high and dive myself. We have a blind spot monitoring uh, which is a uh, functionality within the mirrors just there along with illumination just there as well. Water lights and indicators on the right hand side over here and you have your wipers and uh, auto wipers on the left hand side over here as well. Having a quick look up here, we can actually open up this sunroof so we can get that all the way open and then that will open very nicely before you with the simple touch of a button. Um, opening our sunglasses compartment which gives us a little bit more storage and we have an auto dimming um, mirror in this vehicle as well. Head unit controls are all located uh, at the touch of a button just here and it's also your touch screen as well so you can get into your map controls and everything and if we pop that into reverse uh, you can see we've got our reverse camera that pops up nicely as well now continuing down well as well we do have our climate control settings which we do have split sync climate control we have ventilated seats which i'm going to flick those on now and we've also got our heated seats and also our just standard um, other features for your climate control down a little bit further we have two 12 volt uh, adapters including a USB and an AUX port and then you've got a bit more storage space which is available to you right here. Now just here we have our drive mode settings, our all wheel drive, so our lock functionality so that can be simply changing between um, our lock settings for the, your four wheel drive. Um, you've got auto hold, drive modes, downhill descent and parking sensors along with your automatic handbrake just there, also your electric handbrake there as well. Center compartment has a very good amount of storage with a door bin, uh, sorry, a little bit of a shelf which is um, able to be taken out and stored if need be. Just having a quick uh, look around the vehicle itself uh, so you can see exactly what it looks like on the interior. Other than that, that pretty much wraps up our walk around of this Hyundai Tucson. If you do have any further questions about this vehicle, please feel free to contact our friendly staff on 9907 0555. Furthermore, if you'd like to see if this vehicle fits within your personal budget, you're more than welcome to contact our friendly finance team and see if the payments will work for you. If you do have any further questions about this vehicle, please feel free to give us a call. If not, this vehicle is located down here at 20 to 32 Kanga Drive in Berwick. Please make sure that you make an appointment prior to rocking up just to avoid disappointment to make sure the vehicle is currently here. Any further questions, feel free to give us a call. Other than that, thank you for watching. My name's Joel and have a lovely afternoon.